Do you know what chemicals each match contains? How do they burn? With just a short video, you'll discover the entire matchmaking process. Watch this video to find out right away. Traditional matchsticks making process. In order for a match to burn, the raw material for making a match must be light, soft and flammable. In nature, only linden woods meet these properties. After being purchased, the body tree is brought to the workshop and chopped into pieces. Here, part of the log is transferred to the production of matchsticks and a part to the production of boxes. Bodhi wood is cut into small pieces and the hard outer bark is removed. The wood is then put into a planer to cut into thin sheets. These sheets will be stacked and fed into the cutter to cut into small rods equivalent to the length of a matchstick. After being cut to the required size, the small wooden slats will be put into the drying stage. This is an important step to help remove moisture in the wood, help matchstick stabilise in size and shape increase resistance to termites and warping. Before being put into the dryer, the wooden sticks are stacked in layers. This helps the wood dry evenly and avoids warping. The wood dryer is designed with a temperature of approximately 60 degrees Celsius. This temperature will help remove moisture in the wood gradually, avoiding excess shrinkage of the wood. The drying time depends on the initial moisture content of the wood, the size of the rod and the type of dryer. After drying is complete, the sticks are taken out of the dryer and re-sifted to remove small curved sticks. The standard wooden sticks will be put into the next stages. Wooden sticks are fed into a sorter. The machine will shape continuously so that the wooden sticks are lined up in the same direction. Matches that are not aligned will be pushed out. This worker is responsible for spreading all these rods evenly to remove the poor quality ones. The next step is to prepare chemicals for the head of the match. The chemicals for the head of the match include sulfur, antimony trisulfide and potassium chlorate. Antimony trisulfide has the effect of creating a long burning flame and potassium chlorate has the effect of creating a burning reaction. All of these chemicals are mixed by machine and form a red mixture. The tip of the matchstick is dipped with this red mixture, then it is put into the dryer by continuous spinning. This drying process takes about 15 minutes to ensure that the chemical is completely dry.
The thinly planed wood remaining in the first stage is transferred to this stage to make matchboxes. Some match brands often use cardboard to make boxes to save wood. They are fed into the machine to be cut into rectangular edges suitable for the box size. Then glued and formed into small boxes. Each box will be branded. After being dried, the match tip is inserted into the tray to remove the non-straight ones. Finally, they are brought to the box. Faulty matchsticks will be checked and discarded again. The matchboxes are then sanded on the small edge. Red Fosaurus is cleaned with water and then ground, mixed with glue and then brushed onto matchboxes and dried. Finish match boxes are baled and moved to the finished product warehouse. In this video, we learned about the manufacturing process of matchsticks. This is a fairly simple process but requires meticulousness and precision. I hope this video has helped you better understand how to make familiar matchsticks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel to support me. In the next videos, I will introduce you to the production process of other products in life. Let's look forward to it and see you then.